welcome to Young Money. I'm Nozi Pombandwa. Today we find ourselves in these beautiful natural surroundings in a park in Johannesburg and that's because we're about to play with fire. We're about to meet the CEO of uh, Allied Fire. His name is uh, Lonam Kalali and he's going to tell us a little bit about the product that they're bringing to market that's very different from the traditional understanding of fire extinguishers. So Lona, welcome. Thank you for bringing us outside uh, and into a different environment. Allied Fire, what is the product that you guys are bringing to market? Afternoon, Nozi. First thing that people when they relate to fire extinguishers, they don't see it as a necessity. Because normally people, what they think is that this thing is for big buildings, it won't help us. But now we've come with a solution that is only, not only for buildings, not only for vehicles, but also for the informal settlement. Mm -hmm. This product, the difference between it and all other uh, fire products in the market is that it does the work of three products. It, 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 it is an alarm. Mm -hmm. because when it explodes it makes a big sound right. that's the first thing second thing is that it automatically uh, it automatically uh, deploys upon a contact with fire okay so, so without having to be activated, activated by a human being yes okay that's the second thing and lastly it extinguishes the fire right now the difference between our product and most other products is that our product is made purely from a chemical which means that it does not uh, damage any electrical equipment. Mm -hmm. So, and it's lighter and it's more durable. Our product lasts for five years, whereas the normal one, you have to service it on an annual basis. Now, it's not often that I'd say to someone, please throw me the fire extinguisher, but here we go. Oh, got it. My netball skills still intact. This is not my traditional understanding of what a fire extinguisher would look like. What about the structure gives you a competitive edge? One, you don't, there's no training required. Mm -hmm. You just throw it into the fire and it extinguishes. Secondly, if you're not there, you're at home and it's at the office, you don't need to worry if the fire breaks out at the office. What it will do, it will automatically uh, explode on its own. And then thirdly, as you can see, it's very light. Yes. Yes. So normal uh, traditional fire extinguishers are quite heavy mm. and you need to be trained on that. So on those bases, our thing works, our product works better because of it's, it's made for the people. Right. So it's, it's definitely lighter. It's a different shape. It sounds like it's more cost effective. They, you've reduced the element of having to have training on the product. But where do I mount this? Uh, in, in my office or at home, how do I, uh, you know, how does the product become accessible? All right. In the product, we've also uh, included this mounting uh, gear, which comes with everything where you can mount it if you want to mount it upside, mm -hmm. you can mount it on the side and the bowl will stay there. Mm -hmm. Just depending on your dynamics. So let's say we mounted it this way. So in essence, you would then drop the ball and, oh, that's my finger, and the ball is there. Voila. Right? So it's, quite, it's also quite aesthetic in terms of the way it looks. It's not this big uh, red yes. thing. Yes. All right. So now that we have an understanding of how it works, what I'm going to do is maybe get you to demonstrate. Um, we're going to play with a little bit of fire. We're going to start a fire. And then we're going to launch uh, Allied Fire into the fire and see if uh, it is as effective as you claim it is. Will do. <laughs> All right. I've dismounted the ball from its mounting brackets and so that goes down. We've created a superficial structure here uh, to hold the fire that we are about to make. We are obviously in a park environment so safety is a very big uh, concern. So Lana, let's start the fire. All right, so there you have it. Uh, the flames are up and they're getting bigger. So what do I do now? So I just throw it. Just Let's get my aiming skills right, and... Wait for it. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm alive! <laughs> it was a bit of a scary, a uh, bit of a scary burst. So where did this idea come from? So on our end, we said that, one, we want to save lives, or actually give people an opportunity to try and save their life. And if you look at them, can I just turn? Mm -hmm. If you look and inside, you see those bleak frames. Look at the damage. There's almost no damage onto the product. 
Mm. So which means that only, as I said, that even if it was equipment, this would be the result that ah. you would get out of it. All right. So this journey, that uh, this Allied Fire journey, where does it start from? Have you, I mean, you're the CEO today. Is it your idea? Was it a, a group idea? Who else is involved in this? Well, we are three partners. Yeah. Uh, they, we have our chairman, also is Matoda Namfana. We have an executive director, Dr. Chata. Um, what happened is that we've all had cases where in our lives, fire has uh, interacted with us. Mm -hmm. in some way where you find yourself you've lost something because of a fire and what our first reaction is always when there's a fire in everywhere is that bring the water yes and yes. that reaction has cost us a lot because you find that yes you take out the flames but the coal is still burning ah. the fire will then uh, pop up again so now we will look around to say what is a the product they can we can say it has it has extinguished the fire there is no way that the fire can uh, reinvent itself. Then we realized that eh, there's this product. And we made calls, we emailed, we traveled, and to a day where we finally got the agreement to mm. redistribute this product in South Africa. So your redistribution partner or player in the industry bringing in uh, an external product, what's been the reception and the appetite from the market? I can tell you that the people love it, mm. but the problem is that now in terms of the industry itself, you'd find that the industry is, is not the same as how we envisioned it. Because you find that now people have entrusted themselves to these uh, normal fire extinguishers, it's an insurance uh, requirement. Now, our products, so it's the, the, it, the traditional equipment is built into the system and the regulations, regulations right? Yes. So you now you find that you're coming with this new thing. Everyone says, "Let's come and demonstrate." Now, every time we demonstrate, they say, "Oh, it's a nice product," and then. After that, they go back, they want to buy the product, but then there's always going to be some regulation, some red tape that holds us. But we are in talks with the people who are regulating to say, mm. listen, our product deserves to be in the market. Especially you find that now with disaster management, if there's a fire in the shacks, the truck is uh, deployed to, to go and assist in the extinction of the fire. There's 120 shacks. The fire is about a kilometer in. These guys have to get out and pull a pipe and run all the way there whereas if this was the ball that was there it could have easily not uh, been deployed thrown to the nearest person deploy and, and extinguish the fire so are the regulators um uh, almost entertaining the conversation do you think you're making inroads that we could see this particular part of uh, safety and disaster management changing in south africa because of the new innovation yes yes um to a point that there's a couple of mining companies that have approached us and have we are in talks with there's a couple of municipalities that have already approached us because for everyone else, safety is key. And you'd find that now, if they're saying a product that could save lives, uh, it, it, makes their life, it, it makes their job a bit better. Mm. It makes them feel a bit better inside that we did everything possible to prevent this thing to becoming a catastrophe. Mm. And what is uh, the, the broader team uh, goal? What are the broader team goals that you are looking at? I mean, right now it's one product in the market. Are you looking to grow the, the volume of, uh, of Allied Fire that's coming into South Africa or to diversify into other products? You no, know, what, we, what we've tried to deal with Allied Fire that if we are able to produce or sell a certain number, then we'll be able to manufacture the product in South Africa for the Middle East Africa market. Mm. So now for us, the first goal is that let us reach that target. From there on, we actually will be able to create more jobs by producing this for the bread and masses. What we've also done is that uh, as a company, we realize that there's a lot of young people out there who are looking to be entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. So we've set up a structure of people becoming agents Mm -hmm. where they sell within their district. Mm -hmm. So we've used uh, the municipal demarcation to say, in this district, Nozi is from here. They know Nozi. And if Nozi tells them this practice can do this, it's more likely for them to actually entertain the conversation mm -hmm. than for me, who is not from there. Mm -hmm. So when we're saying that, let's uplift our communities as well. 
Because at the same breath, you say, if I'm going in there, I'm presenting, I'm selling this product, what is left for the people there? Mm -hmm. So in our dynamics, it's all about that. It's not just about ourselves. We're saying that all the young people, come, let's see how we can work I want, to, I want to talk a little bit about the distribution model because it's not often uh, an avenue that we talk about for entrepreneurship. What are the startup costs for wanting to be a distributor? I would, ask, I would expect that the relationships are the most important, you establish the relationship, but how easy or difficult is it to set up shop as a distributor? It's a, a tedious process, it's a lengthy process, it's a costly process. You'd find that for everyone uh, who has a product, they want to make sure that you are in it. So they want you to invest something in it. And you'd find that that investment that you put into the product is one that you say, okay, when you line it up to yourself and you say, I've invested so much money into this thing. Now, on top of that investment, you still need to go to market it. You still need to build the brand. Mm. With all of that taken into place, you find that now, if you don't have the passion for this thing, then you're gonna run out of fuel. You find that now, because there's so many things, and rightly fall, because now I can't entrust my product to someone who says, I just got it for free, it's fine. Uh, from here on, if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And, 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 and perhaps maybe share with us, I mean, you've said the starting isn't easy. Have there, have there been significant setbacks that you've had to circumvent for you to get to the space today? Yes, uh, the most obvious one is always finance you'd find that now you've got a financial problem where you need to raise up capital. And with all the agencies and the places that uh, do lending, they have their own red tape. So we ended up having to finance the thing out of our own pockets, uh, selling our cars, remortgaging and all of that. So to say, we were in it, we want this thing and we see a potential in the product. Is it paying off? Very soon it will be. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how we end our conversation with the CEO of Allied Fire. His name is Lorna Mkalali and he says that uh, it was a huge investment both from a financial as well as an emotional side but he's confident that it is about to pay off. Like we've seen just uh, a couple of dirty jackets but other than that we're safe and the fire was extinguished within three seconds. Uh, the product is called Allied Fire and they're out to change and innovate uh, the safety and disaster management sector in South Africa. Thank you so much for making the time to join us on Young Money. I'm Nozipo Mbanjwa. See you next week.